Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Para YouTube channel. It's been a while, but we've got Rad, Cameron, and Lee with us today. So apologies for the delay. We had to work out a few things before we wanted to go live. So we'll bring them in. We're going to do show you guys the app a little bit, go th through that. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please put them in the chat. Let's get uh, anything uh, right in there, and we'll go through those questions after we go through the app. So let's bring in Cameron. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Brad. And Lee, good morning, everybody. Hi. How are we all doing? Good morning. Hello. So it's been a while since we've been on here, but we're excited uh, to officially do a launch party for the app. It's been a long time coming, but it is now on Apple and Google both. And we are all so excited about that. I know we've had almost close to 100 downloads. Uh, hopefully we're, we get there soon, but we are excited. Yeah, I can actually uh, be working on those numbers. But it's been it's been great. We've been having uh, lots of people join us and sign up and go through. So, um, I, yeah, very very happy with it. So, um, we kind of did a soft launch, and now we're coming out and making it known what we have and and why people should be signing up. Yep. And I think um, both launches went very well. I don't know that we've had we've had questions, um, but I don't know that we've had a ton of problems. So, you know, mm -hmm. if you guys have had any problems, please let us know so we can work through those. And get those to the team but as far as i know um it's been very very smooth uh, considering launches we've had in the past this is probably our best one 110 <laughs> percent. so it's awesome to be able to say yeah i think that most of the issues have just been um i hate saying user side issues but it's just you know it's maybe just a little bit confusion or some silly little error like somebody typed something wrong or clicked the wrong thing but yeah, it's been very, very smooth, very good. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure everybody's very happy. Yeah, I know, I yeah. know that we're, uh, the launch was good and everything. I know we're working on the next steps of putting stuff in here as well. That's something that we can get into camera today or. Yeah, definitely. Big time. Like, Go ahead. Yeah, it, it, it's, I've uh, been saying this a little for a little while. It's a really good foundation for where we're going from here and uh gives us gives us a solid foundation uh really into crypto and so uh so i'm a little distracted because my my tripod is like slowly lowering <laughs> <I'm trying> to, <laughs> trying you to see like this you are you sure you're not just growing bigger like <laughs> that could be the case right right in front of your eyes um but no it's a great foundation for for what we have down the road i mean we've been talking about uh you know next steps is evaluating the dag and where we go with the DAG, but um, getting people into crypto, especially right now, I mean, Bitcoin uh, took out the all-time high. Um, was that yesterday that that happened? So it's a yesterday. great time to, yeah. Long, yeah. So um, I don't know all of the the details and uh, and all the uh, speculation with the having and you know what's coming up soon. But I mean, yeah, for Bitcoin to reach a new all-time high, uh, getting into crypto, it's it's amazing. Um, it doesn't really seem like the mania is back, uh, but the regulations, the attitude, some of the stuff, it's definitely changed. And so the landscape's changed um, and is, uh, is going to continue to change. And people just, yeah, if you're getting into crypto or you want a way to get in for low fees uh, and quickly, this is the way to do it. Yeah, and we, we saw, I saw ETH at 38.55 this morning when wow. I woke up. So um i think it's all looking up i think some of the excitement's back um and, and more into it so but yeah this is i think parapay i think we nailed it with the easiest way to get in it's not necessarily you know we don't say it's going to be the cheapest but the the operating system and the way you do it is definitely much easier than going a different route i would say that the prices really aren't too bad and seeing no. what uh what the holders are putting in the telegram um, in regards to how much they're paying. And they're still amazed at <laughs> how low the transaction fees have been where Coinbase is quoting dollars. They're literally paying cents in a lot of instances. So it's been really good, even on the prices. But the big thing is I, I got this new logo. I don't know if uh, we're going to use it, but I'm like, is the Viagra of crypto because it just stays up. Coinbase has been down twice. <laughs> <laughs> but parapay <laughs> stays <laughs> up. <laughs> That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. 
yeah, I mean the fees. I mean, so it's a flat. It's a flat one percent fee. That's what we have right now. Um, so getting in there, you can move U.S. dollars into your account. I mean, you go through. By the way, this is this is not uh, some uh, you know kind of back alley uh, app or anything like that. Uh, everything is. Uh, you know, we're working with sponsored banks. We've uh, uh, your bank account when you set it up, when you deposit cash into there, it's a real U.S. bank, FDIC insured. Um, you know, up to the two hundred fifty thousand. So it's uh, everything's above board. So yeah, you go through the KYC process, you put in your your cash. There's no fees to do that. Uh, the only fees are when you convert it, when you do a currency conversion. So uh, fiat U.S. dollars to Bitcoin to USDC or or back. And then to withdraw it back to your uh, bank account, no fees on that either. So, um, and then of course, when it, if you convert it, let's say you convert it to Bitcoin and you want to move it to an external address or USDC, you want to move it to external, um, you can do that as well. And it's super, super inexpensive on that because the USDC is, uh, we have Ethereum as well as Polygon. Um, so you're able to move it on, on multiple chains and obviously Polygon is uh is really cheap with the you know fees getting out there so it's a it's a good system yeah for one percent uh and then no fee to deposit or withdraw that's yeah it's it's very competitive yeah i i agree and it, i think i've seen coinbase's fees go up just a little bit recently i was just in there doing some stuff and you know with with parapay you get one percent you know what you're going to pay every time it's not something that's going to change uh as as of right now at least so at least you know when you go in there, you know what you're going to pay when you do that. Yeah, we're working. We're working on ways to get that down too. There's it's coming to just take a little bit of time to get that down. Yeah, I think eventually it would be nice, you know, to be definitely cheaper than other people for sure. But this is this is where when we're talking about handling things our our own. Um, having our own, like right now we're working with other organizations, which is great because uh, we don't need to spend um, two years and $5 million right right now um, getting MTLs and, you know, which is like a money transmitter license and, and all of all of that that goes into it. Um, however, that is something that we do want to do. Um, and when we have the DAG and, and, and things like this, we'll make it um, so we have more even more control over the fees and yeah if we can if we can always reduce the cost um support more assets uh you know continue to bring uh de you know decentralization into our business model um we're gonna we're gonna take those steps so yeah like i said it's really great foundation and then from here we can springboard into some really exciting things <laughs> we burn something for a while. <laughs> oh man <laughs> The good times there. Oh, I think everybody in here remembers those days. I don't think we're going to burn anything this morning. <laughs> you get in trouble for burning a penny or whatever at first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't on the stream, but what, you had a blowtorch and you melted a penny or something? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to <laughs> burn coins. <laughs> burn coins. Everyone is on the bird all the time, so we were burning coins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was back in the days where you burn tokens all the time. I think that coin's in the safe set. What we we kept it. I mean, it's here for for old times' sake. I should probably frame it, and put it on the wall. Yeah, that's awesome. you have to get it out next time. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, yeah. we, I mean, I know we've uh, we only have a few. We haven't we only have a hundred downloads right now. Of the app um, just in a soft launch, and I know that we're uh, we've got uh, a firm waiting for us. Uh, yeah, we got a message from them yesterday, waiting for us to get back with them when when we're ready for them um so we're yeah we're uh i think we're in a good spot right now i know we're uh there's a lot of changes and things and people go on there and you see just usdc and bitcoin but having something out there i told somebody uh, two nights ago i was on the phone talking to somebody about this they got it they got how big it was to have something that was completely legal um completely right. that checked the boxes uh for what you have to have and uh, so if people in the DeFi space or people that aren't in the finance space that don't know the regulation, this is actually, it's pretty big. We actually launched something that the government can't come back and say, hey, you know, this doesn't work. You can't have this um, just because we're playing within the rules. Uh, their, their, their rules, good or bad may they be. But yeah, so we're going to keep building onto that based on staying compliant. Um, 
So, I mean, I know right now I can't go on to Kraken. Sitting in the U.S., I can't go on to Kraken and add funding. I can't do on offer. I can't move anything because I, unless I use a VPN, and even then, I don't think I'm verified. I could be able to verify anymore um, for them. But yeah, mm. there's so there's a couple other ones too that you can't do that with, uh, with anymore. So this is a, I think it's a big deal. It definitely is. Definitely is. Yeah, getting in, getting into crypto. And matter of fact, I've seen some. Uh, I, I had a conversation with the company yesterday um, it, where we're trying to work out, see if we can, you know, expand into having our own cards. And you know, we've we've been brainstorming ideas with them. Uh, we'll see what you know what happens. It's very it's a very complex thing. Eventually, what we want to have is if you have Ethereum or Bitcoin or you know Para in your wallet, um, with a swipe of a card or tap of a card you can spend that in your account the merchant gets paid out um you know crypto is used and all of that so these are some of the exciting things that will continue to iterate with the app and and move this out but yeah we're really providing banking as a service this is uh this is v1 but yeah v2 and and, and from here on out is going to be really exciting and have more features um I don't know if you want to, you can pull up some of the screenshots that we have and we can just kind of walk through what you can expect with the app. Of course, um, Apple and Android, it's available on both platforms. You can go to those stores and download them. Um, but yeah, why don't we get into yep. it a little bit and just kind of set some expe expectations and show people how it works. Sounds good. And some people might be asking me be thinking, well, other places have cards too. Well, this would be different. Other places, mostly you have to load cards to use them. This would right. be a straight, you walk in, USB. you use it, it pulls it out of your account, done. You don't have to go in there and put what something on it. So yes, other places do have cards, but it's just not, this would be more like a debit card, essentially. Yeah, so so that we're really, you know, it's one thing to, and, and we might start out, I mean, it, it really depends. We're just trying to get cards at all, which is a difficult, <laughs> really difficult thing. Um, at least people are now receptive <clears throat> to the idea where before this was not something that uh, that they were doing. Now, like, oh, you do crypto, and it was like you know through holy water and across uh, on you. You know, it was it was not good. Um, now it's now again with Bitcoin and everyone kind of coming back and and all time all time highs and institutions ETFs all this. It's becoming a little bit more friendly. So uh, cards, hopefully soon. But yeah, our, our thing is, is not just a prepaid where you, you go into the app, you sell your Ethereum, you move your Ethereum over, you have it on a prepaid card. Because yeah, that, that does exist. What we're talking about is where you actually just have a card. Um, I mean, the back end uh, mechanics of it are basically you have uh, like a charge card, a little different than a credit card, but a charge card where you tap it um it instantly pays out the merchant in us dollars um whatever that finalized balance is we then run a sell of the crypto for right paying back that charge um so that way you don't have to sit there waiting for the 15 minute block cash on bitcoin so you can go and buy a cup of coffee um you just spend it but you know when you check your account it says oh this bitcoin was converted into the funds for my cup of coffee and uh and yeah so you're actually spending your your crypto um in a, in a real way so that's something that hasn't been done yet it's not available and we are pushing hard to be the first to do it yep and we've always said we've been talking about this for for years that people will start using crypto more if they can use it easily mm -hmm. you know you, you start to get somebody into it in five minutes it's just like it's just it's a lot so when we say the easiest way it's it really it really is it could be yeah so you got the screenshot pulled up here so this is the home page of the app when it loads up obviously you got to go through a kyc process so um you'll have to have your id you take a selfie i think you have to turn both you know three ways um it goes through and the kyc is a day could be uh two days um it's uh it's a very simple process but you just log back into the app once the kyc is done and then you're able to add a bank account and connect to that. So um, what you'll do at this point um, when you have a connect and you just connect your bank account through uh, Plaid. So it's a very, I think we've all interacted with Plaid at some point. Um, but if you haven't, you just select your bank and you log in, it verifies the connection and then you're able to 
deposit funds. So um, right here, this is an account that's a high roller, $4.90 in crypto, pretty big. Um, but what we've got is you, um, you add your cash and it holds it in US dollars and then you can swap it from US dollars to Bitcoin or to USDC. And then the, you see there's two USDCs, um, the difference between them. So, and there's, um, we, we have other screens that show this, but the one that says uh, NPL, that's your polygon. So if you're looking to move it out on the polygon chain, you just put, you'd, you'd buy the, that, uh, that USDC. So um, let's, let's take a look at another screenshot um let's see i think you had one here okay so this one here it's a little so there's like an, a darkened overlay so the reason why is because if you hit the withdrawal button a menu pops up and you have the ability to withdraw crypto or fiat so if you're withdrawing crypto then you need an external crypto wallet so this is how you would go about that um and when you click into the crypto option what it does is it gives you if you haven't added an external wallet wallet it gives you a button where you can add an external wallet. Now, because we're working with uh, banks and, and it's uh, secure, there's sanctions list, um, there's, there's a whole bunch of checks that go into it. So when you add a crypto wallet, it's not instant. It goes through a security screening to make sure that this isn't an account linked with fraud, it's not on a US sanctions list, and you know uh, a few other things. Uh, it takes... It could take up to 24 hours. Typically, we've seen it take about an hour or two, um, and then it gets approved, and then you can just withdraw to your crypto wallet, um, some external wallet. So pretty simple. And then fiat, if you're just withdrawing fiat, it's just back to your bank account that you connected with Plaid, and uh, simple, simple enough. Not too much going on uh, there. Let's see. Let's see if there's another screenshot, Alex. Let me. Um, so yeah, the banker, you've got this. This is uh, mentioned FDIC insured. So yeah, we're working with uh, with a bank. We have a sponsored bank. So you're actually when you KYC, the KYC is to create a and the sign up process is to create a bank account. So a bank account with a account number, a routing number, and um, it's held by um, by our sponsor bank. So yeah, it's uh, FDIC insured. So those those dollars are. So I want to be be clear. Um, not the crypto because the crypto is held with a different custodian. Um, and then of course, if you move it to an external wallet, then then you are the custodian. But the U.S. dollars in your bank account, those are FDIC insured. Okay, I gonna, so I was gonna pull up a photo of when you hit withdrawal real quick. Yeah. So when you hit withdrawal and you hit crypto, this is what you're gonna see. So you'll have a button at the bottom. Go ahead, Cameron. You can explain it too. Oh no, you're good. Um, yeah. So the button at the bottom, the the plus, that's where you would add your external wallets. So you get to name it, you put in the address, and then it goes to the verification process, and then you can see that right there. So um, you you select the amount, you select the currency, um, and then you withdraw uh, withdraw the funds. It's very simple. So and how long? It's not not too hard. How long does it take to verify the the wallet? It can take a couple hours. Um, I think on the app we say it can take up to twenty four hours. Really what it is, is that um, some of this is a manual process and, and the partners that we work with, obviously they're not running 24 hours uh, as far as their staff, right? Um, so if you if you add a wallet at, uh, at midnight, you're gonna have to wait probably until first thing in the morning. Um, so yeah, there are some scenarios where if you do it in action, it might take 24 hours, you know, the full, the full clock to go through. Um, but with the external wallet, I mean, from what we've been hearing, real real world implementation, like an hour or two. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I experienced when um, when I did mine. It was it was probably an hour, hour and a half. And a lot of the stuff when you do on this app is going to be it's going to be dependent on when you do it. Like you said, if you do it late at night, it's probably going to be the next day. 
Um, so just keep that in mind. But I think mine was an hour, maybe even less. So do we know yeah. are they running? Do we know what time zone they're running off of? Because that, that is a question that I've had people ask me um, mm -hmm. sometimes when they're waiting like for the process for something to verify. And I'm like, well, it, you know, it takes a little bit of time. And they ask, uh, well, is, is a cyber, <laughs> what time zone are they working on? Because right. sure enough, within an hour or two, bang, they get approved. So patience is always key, guys. For sure. Um, I, I honestly don't know. So I would say if you're, if you're worried about it, just be safe, plan for EST, because that gives you <laughs> the most amount of time. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so right here, this is this is just your deposit. So the top menu, you're selecting a, a connected bank account. Um, so this is a checking account ending in these numbers, and then you just put in your amount. So the amount in this case is $100. Super simple. You hit submit, you hit approve, and it goes through. And now you've got $100 in your account. It, again, these some of these transactions can take a little bit of time. Um, we typically have a little pop-up message like, Hey, expect, you know, 24 hours or whatever. But, um, I don't know, Lee, with your experience so far, can you talk about timeframes? Like what you've been noticing? I mean, I try, I try, tried twice. And I think I was trying two different things. One was, uh, I tried it, uh, before I say twice, it was, I did a lot of different transactions, but uh, two different times, once before the live launch and once after before. Um, the longest wait time I had, I mean, I was able to get my bank account, the KYC done instantly. The bank account was done pretty much instantly. The, um, the longest wait I had was actually putting, uh, waiting for my wallet, my external wallet to be, to be verified. I think I, I did this, you know, in the afternoon and sometime in the middle of the night. I mean, I know when I woke up in the morning, it was, it finally had to verify that external account. That's how long as it took me the first time. Uh, the second testing I did uh, was the live testing, and I was just trying small amounts to see what the the time was to do to settle it, like a small amount of Bitcoin. That is an interesting. That one took a little bit longer, just because I, it was just like ten dollars in Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is <laughs> how much now, right now? And so it was just, I think it was just waiting for enough people. I think on, on this too, we have to. I believe that's how. Unless something was just being worked through, Cameron, is there something different? Because um, it, it, it all cleared up the next day, but I didn't experience that the first time. Um, no, I don't think that the, I don't think there's anything uh, different. So, um, yeah, I think that that's a, a fairly good expectation to to set. Um, again, it does depend kind of like when it's when it's happening, when you uh, put through the, the transaction. But yeah, I mean, typically not that long. So what we've seen is, is something like this, uh, KYC. So here's my experience with uh, like Coinbase. Going through a KYC process with Coinbase, I think is also takes about 24 hours. Um, and then you can deposit funds, you connect your account. Um, uh, I've actually, I wanna say, I mean, it's been a little bit of time, but I wanna say that there was like a, an account verification as well, where they deposited like the two amounts. I had to wait for the two amounts to go in and then put those in. Um, that's about another day. And then once you're all good, you deposit the funds in and I've had it where it takes five to 10 days where the funds are sitting there I've before they're 11. available. 11, I, I yeah. just recently, yeah, I recently did a, an upload, you know, from, uh, it was accidental. I don't know why, but the bank account Usually I go from um, card. If you go from like your debit card or from PayPal, it's instantaneous with Coinbase. And for some reason, it was clicked on bank account. I didn't notice it. I pressed it 11 days. Yeah. So it's, it, and those funds are there. I mean, you're able to, to move crypto uh, within their platform, but what you're not able to do is withdraw it. So with us, um, you can go through the whole process and there's a two-day bank hold. So the longest I've seen is four days so far. Um, so downloading the app to being able to withdraw your funds out into a crypto wallet, um, the longest we've seen is four days. So it's a very quick, it's a very quick process. Um, just as a standard thing, people, if they have like insufficient funds or, you know, whatever it is, um, there's like a two-day banking hold. Well, they'll, they'll come back and claw back the funds. 
So um, we're we're holding a two day fund, uh, like a two day hold, so we don't get uh, scammed. <laughs> you know, um, scammers in Bitcoin, they just I don't know, they peas in a pod, they love it. Um, but this is a this is a, I mean, yeah, very very quick compared to other options on the market. Um, I would say that there are some things like I know PayPal has some crypto options and things like that. Um, but then you're talking about massive fees, at least in my experience. Um, when you're when you're moving money in, uh, there's the conversion, there's the withdrawal, there's um, expedi expediting the, the shipment and everything. It's crazy. Um, and, and then some platforms are only an on ramp and there is no off ramp. So to be clear with with uh, Parapay, you are an on and off ramp. Um, you have access to both. For sure, for sure. If now we're just going through, <laughs> going through some questions. <laughs> um, you have that question up there too. I'll answer that with the, the question about ERC twenties. We do have. I mean, that's what we're working on right now, uh, because that's what banks. There's there's uh, there's fear there. The outside of the, what we have right now, uh, USDC and, and Bitcoin, the banks are all afraid of the other tokens. And so getting those other those other Ethereum based tokens or even Ethereum on, that's what we're working on something uh, on our own to, to get that done. Um, so I don't have a date yet, but we're we're, we're trying to get that as, as, as quick as we can. I think it's, that the, 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 yeah. the SEC delaying the Ethereum ETF isn't helping <laughs> with gaining confidence for Ethereum, just yeah. you know, in general with conservative and, and traditional banking. So you know, hopefully things will speed up a little bit more because we saw that with Bitcoin. Now it's like everybody wants to get in on Bitcoin and, and um, even different presidents of different countries are ta talking about adopting it now suddenly and so yeah, it's. Uh, I think that once that approval comes through, um, it'll it'll speed up the process. Yeah. We'll see, uh, with with the current system that we have in place, with the partners that we're working with, it could happen fairly rapidly. This was already uh, something that was supported. Ethereum and some other uh, tokens and, and things they were already supported. Doge. Um, the the reason why uh there we're not able to support them right now is just because with the the bear market and the crash everyone was afraid and obviously the speculation of is ethereum uh, a security because some of the sec documents say that they believe it is a security and so they don't want to be involved in in security trading whatever so they took this massive list that was built out and approved and they just ran it down basically to two assets usdc and bitcoin so if something like this is approved if we're able to work out this ethereum thing if uh if, you know people catch up and and say okay this is not a security um it could be overnight and luckily for us it's already built in it would just be a matter of uh, a few code changes and then getting things enabled where yeah I mean, if, if ethereum is ruled safe and our banking partner feels good, we could be, you know, flipping some switches and having that supported very, very quickly with with the current platform. Um, however, we're not sitting waiting around. There's a few options that we're looking at. The DAG uh, being one of them, and then we have another uh, potential workaround to uh, support more assets. But yeah, this is I would say one of the big big priorities for us right now. Um, we talked about, oh yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, were there any other screenshots you wanted to show? Um, I don't know if there's any, any others. I, I sent over a few. Um, I mean, it's not a whole app walkthrough. It's just, uh, I think I was going to mention, I think, um, what I'll do is I'll get with you Cameron and we'll kind of go through a, an app walkthrough and do a video for it. Um, I, I have a, I can find a a program to use that'll be able to show the phone and just walk through everything and maybe we'll do a video together or we'll get a video together for everybody um, just to kind of show the steps and where you go to do each thing because sometimes when you add payment it's not like there's a button at the bottom that that says add payment method you have to go to settings and you have to do the you know payment and do it that way so there's a few steps that you know sometimes it might be confusing to find something so mm -hmm. we'll put a video together to to try and address as many things as possible in the video 
um, to make sure people know um, how to go through and do all that, all those steps. Yeah, definitely. Well, and one of the things I would say is join our Telegram. So find our Telegram, join it. Um, if you have questions, we've got great people. Rad and Alex are always in there helping people out. Um, and that's a and great just way very, to- very quickly say, mm -hmm. because with Telegram, there is the issue of duplicate groups and scam groups. So whenever you're joining, not just for us, but any crypto project, um, if you're trying to join a Telegram, go to the official website and use the links that are on the official website. So in our case, go to Paraworks or Paradox Global, and you can click for the Telegram. And we actually have a Discord for those who don't particularly like Telegram. Um, but yeah, make sure you get the official always. And yeah. if you go into a Telegram and someone messages you right away, you're on the wrong one. <laughs> if they private message you, it's not ours because we absolutely 110% will not message you first. So right. if you have a problem, you're welcome to message one of us. Um, but until you do, you will not receive anything from us. So if you go in and you get one, wrong one. Yeah. Any Anything financial, just be use your common sense, use your judgment. Um, we're not going to need your account number. We're not going to need, need anything. Um, if you said, Hey, uh, I KYC and I'm having an issue. It hasn't gone through. Um, I would need an email address. That's about it. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to get that on my end and email you first more than likely. So, um, don't, don't, uh, don't be tricked, but no, uh, join the telegram. There's, there's resources and people there to help um and answer questions and then it, you know if something does come up like hey you know can you check on my kyc what's going on uh we can always we can always do that and help out so that's a great way right now to, to do it absolutely cool cool yeah i think we, well, is there anything we, else i think we got all the questions if anybody has anything else please go ahead and put it in the chat there and and we'll uh we'll address it Yes, banker. Banker's correct. Coinbase does have a mind-numbing wait time. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, True. sometimes it's it's pretty crazy. Oh shoot! Especially if you want to get in something. I mean, getting some crypto is quick. You want to get at the same time, exact like where you're at. But uh, if you've got to wait ten days. Um, it's crazy. One day is not not as bad. Three days is not as bad, but ten days is nuts. And it also depends because their wait times are based on business days. And I think that the reason why my wait was 11 days is because um, there was President's Day. So the banks aren't open on that day. So that was another reason why I had extra days to wait. So, yeah, it's just. Yeah. Banking system. <laughs> it's very, yeah, it's very different. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we're trying to be, I mean, really, we are. We are uh, competing in, you know, with a lot of these bigger, we're, we're faster. And we're really, uh, uh, as far as the cost, I, there might be some scenarios where it's like, instead of 1%, they charge you 0.75 or, you know, something like that. The 1% fee, I mean, I would put our platform up against anyone. It's a very, very competitive fee. Um, I mean, I, I've seen things when you're talking about going from, so from Ethereum, you move it to like a PayPal from PayPal, um, you swap it to US dollars, and then from US dollars, you expedite it to your your, your uh, bank account so you can spend it. Um, I mean, those fees add up. It's like eight percent. I mean, it's in, you know when you're looking at gas and the conversion and then the expedited stuff. I mean, yeah, you're paying eight percent on your money. So this is uh, this is faster, and yeah, one percent every time faster, you just go for faster it. often offsets the extra cost anyway because of the mm -hmm. gains. If you're waiting around and something that you want to get in on is going up, you know, like we've seen in the last couple of days, and you, you're sitting there like I was for like eleven days, and I'm like, I really want to get in on this bull run because I can see what's going right. to happen. And you know, eleven days have passed. Like, forget it. <laughs> You've missed the boat. Yes, opportunity cost. That's a big one. Yep. <laughs> That's a big one. No. Well, great. Um, yeah, I think we'll have the the links, the the X account, um, the Twitter, uh, or sorry, Twitter is X. Um, the Telegram. I mean, uh, make sure to join and follow, and uh, and go to your app store, download it, um, sign up, do the KYC, move in some money, um, give us some feedback, let us know how it works, and um, get into crypto. I mean. The, uh, you know, tis the season. I mean, this is even time too. I think I would, I'm, I'm at the point 
now where we I would go invite my mother to join crypto on the app and buy Bitcoin or, you know, even if you're, you're just going to get into Bitcoin um, and hold it. As far as safety goes, you're not leaving. You're not going to your own wallet. It is, you know, it is insured. It's sitting there. Uh, but well, the, sorry, the U.S. dollars is insured sitting there. But just the app, just the amount of effort we put in for security and um, the legality of this. I would just oh. also make a suggestion, like when when you guys are testing this out for the first time, just you know, use small amounts. Don't do anything. Not that we've had any bad experiences, but it's just a really good rule in general when you're doing things online, whether it's crypto or even in fiat, just stick to smaller amounts for the testing phase until you feel comfortable with it. And then you can like do larger transactions. Perfect. You had some more questions, I think, from Banker too. What's his plan? He has a question about plans to build swap security and moving to purchases. I'm not sure what the. Do you understand that question, Cameron? Um, plan to build a swap or move into purchases. Swap. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess we have a we have a swap. Banker, what is not good enough for you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. So having a swap is is an interesting thing. I, I don't know that it's something we would be taking on right now um, until we have the DAG, right? Because the DAG is like the focus. That's the, that's the you know, getting, getting to the top of the mountain. So with the DAG, there will need to be a swap. They'll need to have, uh, have something like that. Right now, um, purchases is a big thing because we want to be able to onboard businesses uh, quickly um have people be able to to pay businesses with crypto this is something that uh we can probably enable fairly fairly soon so we're looking at um uh, flow of funds and and getting some schemas approved and then if we can do that we can um, expand the app into onboarding businesses which would be really great so um yeah there's i would say purchases or being able to use crypto as as cash or same as fiat or competing with fiat, that's that's a big part of, I mean, that's really the mission. Um, but having the DAG is to facilitate that sooner. And I just don't see a reason for a swap until we have the DAG. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> What's going on in this slide? <laughs> Tons. <laughs> We're all like. Um, <laughs> I was trying to type right without looking to my other screen. <laughs> I, I look over. It's bad for Cameron's blood pressure. Like I don't. What's going on here? Uh, <laughs> There's a couple more questions, Cameron, from Banker. If you want to look mm -hmm. at them and see. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can. Let me know which one you want. Speculation. You can't answer. Uh, yeah. We knew that marketing would change all this for sure. We even have people like, uh, yeah, this this uh, sending sending money overseas is something we're we're really trying to get done too. We've had a lot of people. I was just over in UAE last week, and I shoot, I sat with somebody that was like, dude, we have so many people here, even in UAE, that could use it. They would use it to send funding to send uh, money back home. Mm. Just yeah, I mean, because yeah, look at that. UAE is what a total of. In the hundreds of thousands of people, and they've got nine, ten million people in that country. You got a lot of Westerners, but you also the, the third country nationals or people from other countries that are the day workers. They're they're they're, they're everywhere. So the uh, the amount of people that are sending money back home, they were just like, dude, we got to get this done. So definitely something working on. I had a meeting over there too uh, last week uh, about getting some other. We we're having a company set up over there and uh, getting the banking and things done for Para. Uh, just pieces of pieces of the puzzle that we have to get done. So, first steps to being truly paraglobal. <laughs> we have to be, yeah. We have, shoot, how many holders do we have that aren't in this country? We have a lot, right? We have a lot. Yeah. UK, Australia. I know they're asking the same question. When can this be done here and here? Um, so. Yeah, we need it for Australia. They, uh, the the major banks in Australia have all started restricting how much crypto people can buy. So it's yeah, <laughs> it's been um, 
It's been a very bad week. <laughs> well, sure. so they're restricting how much people can buy. Does that mean like they can restrict how much money you have? I'm sorry, you have too much money. You can't have any more money. I mean, what? What the? Heck? I mean, why not? I mean, you know, even here in the U.S., there are laws that restrict how much cash you. Most people don't even know this. That under the Patriot Act, if you're caught, if you're found to be carrying more than five thousand U.S. dollars at any one time, you can have all your assets seized permanently until you prove. You came across that five thousand dollars as part of the anti-terrorism blah 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 blah. So yeah. I know like, paid, paid, I sold a truck years ago. I was paid in cash, and I know that the government didn't like that. I uh, years yeah. later, when I was in a, I was being doing security uh, clearance. Uh, my interview, they're like, "Hey, where did this money come from?" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" And we're talking like ten yeah. years past. I had to go back. Oh yeah, I sold a truck that was cash. So yeah, they definitely they keep track of all of that stuff. Yeah, I know that in the UK and in Australia now, if you want to get a substantial amount of money, substantial being anything more than like a thousand dollars or euros or what pounds, whatever they're using in the UK, Australia's dollars, but the banks will actually uh, they question you and they question you hard. Like, what yeah. are you using this money? Well, that's for? A, that wasn't the bank questioning, man. This is the government questioning me for to continue government business, you know, another level. And this is after like four four banks ago. Like, I was at bank. I was I think it was a bank. No, I was with, uh, sorry, I wasn't with Bank of America, but I was with another bank. And then, shoot, I'm four banks later. And the government had kept track of any cash moves from oh. over a decade ago. So it's <laughs> it's very real. This is why people want crypto so badly. Yep. That That's a bullish sign, just saying. All that. That's bullish <laughs> news. <laughs> that's right. I, I don't know. I'll say it out loud. We talked about this camera. That If there's a way... That we can, we want to. I want to stay DeFi and centralized, centralized for this reason. But if there's a way we can do this, and, and talking about the DAG, and then we have the Para that's on Ethereum. If there's a way to do this, I want to do it. And so yeah. as long as we're going to do that, we're going to keep moving forward. Yeah, it's a service. I mean, it's a it's it's a great business. Get into crypto, you know, inexpensive. So it's a it's a valuable service. But for us, I think the team yeah it's i don't know stuff like that solving a solving a problem it's like uh this is a slow moving problem that we're moving towards and um yeah if we can be part of the solution that's yeah that's that's pretty awesome that drives a lot of what we're doing here yeah great great well get your crypto get your bitcoin it's gonna moon this, this is financial advice i'm just kidding i don't know don't don't take that. <laughs> Just use the word moon, oh, Cameron. Oh dang it, we're done. Sorry. I gotta edit that. Go back done. and edit that out. I know. Isn't it so funny? It's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. I said the wrong speech. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so Bitcoin is sitting at sixty six thousand seven hundred and change. That's pretty amazing. Um, All time high is let me pull this up depends on where you check yes Hi. the numbers change i know that uh finance had it at sixty nine thousand and forty seven dollars which it actually did not hit yesterday so depending on who no, you're referring to for the all-time high there's there's variations in what i guess that's is. true i was looking i have my preferred uh exchange but yeah i'm looking here so this is a uh, coinbase uh against the dollar in bitcoin so 69,324 all-time high sitting at 66,700 and change right now so we're just hanging out um and it, it, it is takes interesting. a while there'll be still there'll be, there'll be a little bit of up and down like uh last all-time high uh there was some pullback three weeks it took to actually get over that mark of the previous all-time high and to stay up and hit that new all-time high of 69. So yeah, it does It does take a little while. Just we'll see what happens. Great. Well, you got three days. Go through KYC after you download the app and move your money in so you don't miss out. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm getting so many people messaging me talking about the FOMO is back. Oh, this, this meme coin popped off. How did I miss it? Oh, Bitcoin's ripping, you know? And uh, it's, it's, here we go. You know, Tis the there have been some, 
the, the memes have been going crazy and that's really what's, because if you look at Ethereum, Ethereum's been very, very stable. There's a big flat line this morning on Ethereum. It's still sitting at 3,500. Um, WETH is a little bit more. They're sitting at 3,800. But uh, with the memes, that's what's chomping the gas right now. It's Some of these memes have just been going through the roof, things that people forgot about. I know somebody, one of our holders had $3 on a meme coin that turned into $200 this wow. week <laughs> so it probably costs you know 300 to get it out that's what rad and i were talking about last night i mean you know the memes are going crazy when it costs you yeah you have one to sell he doesn't hey, want to can... sell because the gas is 190 dollars just to sell it <laughs> alex are you able could you do a favor and, uh, or maybe rad because you have the screen sharing right can you pull up the para chart while we're sitting here looking at it yeah, I, I can't. Give me two seconds. Yeah, like, I'm like looking go. over my. It's screen. been beautiful. It's 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 a thing of beauty. Yes. So, uh, I just have to pull it up on my computer before I can uh, show it. On the, oh my gosh, I've got it yeah. set to one hour because I'm a little like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching second by second. What's happening? I love it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Just. No, you're good. I know it's it's an on the spot thing, <clears throat> but yeah, if yeah, no. taking a look at the chart is. I think I got it. Is that do you see it? Oh, perfect. Were you able yeah. to bring it up? Yeah. Oh, let me change it though. Oh, I, right. I've got mine zoomed out a lot more now. <laughs> if you. That's better. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> days. Can we look at the days? whole? Yeah. Let's look at the whole thing. Yeah, it's, I was doing mine on days. It's really nice. Yeah. About three days. That's three sure. days. Oh yeah, there's a there's a cup and handle. There we go. Yeah. Yep. This is this has been awesome to see. It's been awesome to see because obviously the team's working really hard. Lee has has put his heart and soul into everything that we've been doing, and also his pocketbook. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sure it, it's nice to see that it's being rewarded. It's being uh, it's being tracked. So yeah, to see this move. I mean, if, I, I was looking at the low. Um, to where we're at now, it's a, it's, we've oh. got a four X, which is just yep. fantastic, um, and a lot of you know positive reception with the app that we've just launched and where we're going from here. So um, you know, there's a I, I, it's not financial advice. Take a look at it. Take a look at Para. What we're doing is to also support here with Para. We're going and working with the SEC to make this compliant because everything is about compliance because they're coming through, and uh, obviously that was a big. A big scare right is is how to even navigate and try and figure out how to work through this crypto environment um but yeah everything that we're doing is above board and uh it is great so it's lovely to see it pay off i mean you see that the very bottom there that was what august september october of last year um yep. so yeah we've had just a steady steady rise and then of course it's been really great uh, with Ethereum and everything taking off. So if you're bullish on crypto, if you want a solid project, please take a look at Para, see if it uh, fits your criteria, and we would love to gain you as a holder. Well, if you look at what Bitcoin has done from their lowest point to where they are now, it's what, a 3x? So we've done better. With a 4X. Yep. Ethereum's yeah, done really well. They've done a 6x because they were like, it was like 600 something. I, rem I know I was loading up at six. <laughs> six it was high six. Was, what did Bitcoin hit? Seventeen. Right? Was that the? Uh, yeah, it was under two. So I see. I mean, I guess it does depend on the chart. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me find a better one, maybe. Well, it also depends on what you're. It depends on what you're buying with too, because Bitcoin, you know, it trades to various other currencies. Uh, I know Korea. Is the second biggest isn't that interesting? There you go, Paraglobal. Do we have any holders in Korea? Korea has the largest uh, is the largest currency against crypto after the US dollar. Unbelievably. So wow. anybody know is anyone in Korea? <laughs> like to get in there. And then India. So wow, amazing. Yeah, I've been I, I just did a calculation. I was looking at uh Bitstamp and it looks like if we're comparing comparing our highs we've tracked right with ethereum i mean it makes sense we're tied to ethereum 
Um, but it is it is interesting to show that we're we're holding and gaining um, a lot of a lot of times if you know there's not a lot of faith in a in a project or a lot of faith in a currency um, or even the FOMO right you see these crazy you know three dollars turning into two hundred dollar type of uh, degen plays people want to get out and go gamble and uh, with everything we've we've held and we've paced with with Ethereum doing about a four x. Yeah, I think uh, there's going to be some big moves too. Uh, what date is it today? Today's the 6th. So next week, next week is the Dencon upgrade for Ethereum. Um, unfortunately, it's only going to help gas for layer twos, but it does pave the way again, moving forward toward the surge to eventually get the gas fees down um, on the main net itself. So hang in there, guys. It's coming <laughs> eventually. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I really think the story is is the DAG because it yeah. it's uh, the gas is is I, I think it's one of those things that when you're getting into crypto and you're you're dealing with it, you kind of get used to it and whatever. Um, going back and if you're on the Lynx app or Zerion or whatever and looking at your gas fees that you've spent, and you're like, wow, that would be nice to have ten grand back from gas fees. You know, uh, Lee, I would I would shiver to see what has been spent actually we've seen it uh gas and airdrops and everything that's been done oh my god year one gas um, these are, are, we're disgusting it's not even worth talking about no no well it, it's only worth talking about in the context of what's coming which is the dag which is a gasless uh it's not even a chain right it's not a blockchain it's it's even right. faster there's no bottlenecks so that that's the only context in which it's worth talking about um yeah because hey it's great we love the ledger we love crypto we love the blockchain this is really great there's ways to iterate and improve upon it um layer you know these layer twos and other solutions are are awesome but um it's got to be gasless we gotta we gotta move to a more sophisticated model and that's what we're trying to do yeah that's the game changer right there i i do notice i just wanted to address that quickly somebody in the chat was asking about the yc being declined if just if you're in telegram contact myself or alex on telegram and we'll take a look at it for you i should mention i guess we should mention um have we mentioned it <laughs> the kyc is uh us right now so if you're outside the us and you're trying to kyc that might be an issue for you but uh, or if you set your vpn up to be outside of the us um it will it'll track the vpn and say it'll decline it from that as well so um there's a few different gotta, things gotta, that could be causing the problem. So yeah, just like Rat said, message one of us and we can guide you. Right. And we so, will not we will not message you first. You have to contact us. The one exception is if you get an email from me uh, with with instructions, um, you'll yeah. We probably need to figure that out. Be careful. Out. Um, if you get an email from Cameron today, just randomly, it may not be Cameron. <laughs> You would have I know, to I said that, and now I'm like, first. now it's live. So yeah. Now that I, now that I said you? it out loud, dang it. All right, we got to find another way to do this. <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, but really, honestly, 1 800 para coming soon. <laughs> going through to the Telegram, if you have an issue like that, and providing Rad, Alex, myself, uh, Lee with your email, uh, Lee's busy. Don't send Lee your email address. Um, but if you if you can get your email address, say, hey, I KYC, I tried to set up with this email address, I can go through and look and see if we got a rejection or see what's going on and provide you some information. That's probably the best way. Um, I have been emailing people, but now that I say it, that's probably probably not a good idea. So one thing I can definitely say from experience is um, and just be cautious for this um, because it's so easy to make a typo. When you're filling out the KYC, make sure that the address that you're putting into the KYC matches exactly what is on your ID. Because I moved house recently, and so the ID didn't match up with the and I just put you know current address because I'm not thinking right it's current address. Um, and so when the ID got uploaded, it had a different address, and I got locked out of the system <laughs> with the KYC. <laughs> So make sure, because like I said, you could just be a little error. Like you think you put 38, but you accidentally typed 39. Make sure that address matches exactly. Yep. Yep. Perfect. 
Perfect. Any other questions that we can address? I, I haven't seen any come through as of right now. So if you guys are, you guys don't have anything else to cover. Um, are you still want to do a huddle on Friday? Yeah, we can do a huddle on Friday. So we'll, we'll be on Friday morning on X for a huddle. Uh, but again, Even if it's just to, just to say hi, and really what I would like to do, if you're watching this, uh, if you're part of these these huddles and, and join in, um, let's hear from the community. So you have till till Friday to get up some courage to come and, and grab a mic and join us on the space, because I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear your experiences um, and, and talk about it. And just it's been a while. I, um, I, I've been talking talking to these guys but I haven't really been talking to people inside the community. So let's, let's have a chat Friday. Yeah, sounds good. We'll, we'll right now try and make a kind of a reminder um, tomorrow and Friday morning, just to remind people, you know, come up and let us know what you think of it. Yep. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Appreciate the time, everyone. Yeah, sounds good. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming out today. Again, any questions, please message us on Telegram, and we'll get back to with you on that. And then uh, we'll see you guys all Friday morning. So, again, Alex, for- I'll have to get back to you on that. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Brad, did you even go to bed at all? <laughs> I bet you just stayed up, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I, w- I went to bed for an hour. Well, yeah. when, when Rad messages me at 7 a.m. on Telegram, it's... That's an early day for her. So, yeah, it was 5 a.m. for me. So, yeah, yeah, I just had my like one hour, one hour cat nap. And yeah, so I bedhead this (laughs) morning. You can't do streams this early and expect me to look good, guys. Like, (laughs) 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 too early. (laughs) Thanks for doing it. Anytime before noon is too early, I think, for you, Red. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, Cameron, Lee, and and Rad for coming on. And uh, we'll see everybody uh, Friday morning. We have a great week. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks a bunch.